Hey guys, welcome back again, and I'm going to go ahead and do the video about how to control your instruments with your MIDI keyboard. Um, I'm not going to do anything else in this video, just go straight into it. So, all you need to do is have your instrument on a track here, and I don't have it controlled right now by my keyboard. I'm pressing my keys, nothing's happening. So, all I need to do to set that up is click on this gear icon. Go to MIDI, input, and then select my keyboard, which is an Alesis V49. So there we go. I love the new color scheme on the uh, new version of LMMS. It's great. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do. Now, if your keyboard isn't working, then I would recommend going to file or edit then go to settings and then go down to the little keyboard icon here and just make sure that your MIDI interface has WinMM MIDI selected that's if you're on Windows now if you are on Linux or Mac then when you install M LMMS it should automatically install a MIDI interface for that system. It's not going to be called WinMM MIDI if you're on Mac or Linux. It's going to be called something else. So just be aware that it's different depending on what system you're on. So, yep, that's it. And you should be able to control your instruments. Let me just go through uh, one more thing. You can add another instrument in, which I'll do now. I'm going to add another sound font bank. Let's do the Secret of Mana. And if I press my keys, I'm still controlling the old one. If I want to control the, this one instead, I need to go to the gear icon, go to MIDI, input, and then click on this again to uncheck it. And then I can click on here on the new track, go down to MIDI, input, and then put a checkbox on this one. So now I'm controlling that one. Now I can actually control both of them at the same time as well. So I can just click on here again, go to MIDI, input, and click on V49. And now both of them are being controlled at the same time. So you can do that if you want to. And that's it. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Wanted to keep it short and sweet. See you next time.